Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. Among in Cloud is a community where we discuss about cloud and DevOps. So similarly, today I've come up with a new thing, new terminology or a new characteristics if you want to be a cloud or DevOps engineer that is called as high availability. We are going to discuss about high availability, what is high availability, how can uh, we achieve high availability in our systems or the architectures okay basically high availability is a system design approach that aims to ensure a high level of operational uptime and minimize downtime by having redundancy and failover mechanisms in place in simple terms it means that the system is designed to continue to operate even if one or more components fail so if you see this entire system we have many components here for example this is an application load balancer right so this is one component so we have a web server this is another component we have another web server that is another component so these two uh, web servers are called as clusters okay so this is web server one and this is web server two this these two are you know producing the same content basically we also have two databases two rds instances right so having the same databases so this high availability means let's say this web server goes down due to some issues right so even during that time this user if the user is requesting for a content so he will not be interrupted there so what he what this load balancer is going to do is it is going to take the content or it will redirect his traffic towards the web server 2 or the web server which is operating right that is the meaning of high availability let's take an example of the same thing okay Sa same web application which serves an online marketplace for buying and selling goods right the application runs on a cluster of web servers and um, there is a load balancer which you can see here right that distribute distributes the incoming traffic to the servers basically this uh, load balancer will distribute the traffic to both the servers if you have multiple web servers right so it will be distributing the traffic to multiple web servers but here as we have only one and two it will distribute the traffic to both the web servers to ensure high availability, the system is designed with the following components. So let's see the components one by one. First one is load balancer. So load balancer distributes, we, we already spoke about this, right? So basically it will distribute the incoming traffic to multiple web servers so that if one web server fails, the load balancer can redirect the traffic to another server, right? So, uh, so that, uh, you know, this way, uh, even if one server fails, the application can continue to serve the end users. So this is the first component, load balancer. Next component is web servers. Web server is another important component in this architectural diagram, right? So these are configured in a cluster, which means that there are multiple instances of the application running simultaneously. Right. If one web server goes down, the other web server in the cluster can continue to serve the users. That is the meaning here. If this goes down, this will operate. Let's say if both the server goes down, you have another mechanism called auto scaling group. If you have configured like that, what it will do is it will automatically spin up another EC2 instance with the same web application installed on it. Right. So then what happens? The load balancer can distribute the traffic to the web server, which is healthy or which is up and running. Right. So that you can do also. Next, the third component is database. So DB is another important component in this architectural diagram. So the database is configured with a master slave replication. That means there are multiple copies of the databases running simultaneously. That means if master's master database goes down, the slave database can take over and continue to serve the application, right? Another important thing that you can keep in mind in this particular architecture is the monitoring and alerting, 
right so monitoring and alerting is also in place for this particular architectural diagram so where are they so let's say uh, the system is configured with the monitoring and alerting tools that can notify the system administrators if any component of the system fails this way the administrators can quickly take actions to fix the problem and restore the system right so by having the components in place the system can ensure high availability and minimize the downtime for example if one web server goes down right so the load balancer can redirect the traffic to the other servers in the cluster and users will won't even know that there was a problem right similarly if the master database goes down the slave database can take over and the application can continue to operate without any interruption this way the system can continue to serve the users even if one or more components fail right so and this will pro you know provide a seamless user experience for you right so that's all i had to discuss about high availability and how it can be achieved right so i took this example of this architectural diagram but you can consider make you can consider any architectural diagram right but our end goal is to make our system highly available and fault tolerant so if you do not know what is fault tolerant i'll make a separate video for that but in this video we discussed only on high availability right so this is what high availability means in cloud and devops right so that's it i had for this video if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends because that motivates a lot to make videos like this. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.